Hey guys, it is six minutes past eleven on a Sunday evening. <clears throat> Where's my drink gone? One's over there. And it's the fourth of a. I don't believe I just did that. This was thinking September, this said October, and it's actually November. <laughs> my birthday is this Friday, the 9th. where my body calendar is a month behind. Anyway, I've not been up to a great deal. Basically around this flat I've just been doing Lego orientated things, you know. Finding instructions and building these lovely little sets from the 1970s out of all my own Lego. My loose Lego. I've got another one here that I did recently. The tractor digger they call this one. I guess Lego was having an off day when they thought of the name for that one. <laughs> Mind you, the names for these sets were actually just as simple as the sets themselves. Maybe that was the whole point of the simple names. But, uh, yeah, so I've been doing a lot of work on the town as well. I want to get some more bits, but pretty certain that won't happen this Thursday, unfortunately, because of bills. Good old Bills. Probably the worst part of being an adult. <laughs> Nobody likes Bills. Uh, but then again, nothing comes for free. You know, the electricity is not free, so... Bills have to be paid. Hey, Nemo. Right. So, a number of things I want to chat about, but uh, I think I want to start with video games because, as an early birthday present, my brother bought me Grand Theft Auto V. Now, I used to, for up to about an hour, sit on the PS3 in the bedroom and just play GTA V. I completed it on the console on the PS3, so I would just literally go around and just do random things really <clears throat> um, so that is awesome I'm not sure if I'll use the online features I'm not really one for online gaming I just like sitting here and playing games by myself really uh, I might go online if my brother wants to and we can go online together but before I do anything like that, I want to get some front USB sorted out for this. That motherboard I've got doesn't have a socket for USB 3. My um, front USB is a USB 3. But I have found out there are solutions for that problem, so that's an easy fix. But it's just going to be a lot easier for my headset. Well, I suppose I could use the big old microphone and my headphones, but I think for gaming I would prefer my little old headset um, and just use this for like when I eventually get to use OBS again because <clears throat> that's a perfect microphone for that so uh, I'm not a big gamer though I don't actually have many games on my Steam account actually I think I have about six let's just have a look Uh, that's what I want. Library. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games. Torchlight was gifted many years ago, and I've just never ever played it, never even installed it. I can't even remember who gifted me that, actually. Um, Terraria. I haven't played for ages because the two friends I used to play that game with don't play it anymore. So that just sort of died. My Summer Car is a current one that I am playing. Left for Dead 2, I haven't played that in ages. Not even got that installed. Grand Theft Auto 5, which my brother bought me, that's installed. Dude Simulator. I think that was a free game that was on Steam. It's 
ridiculous game. Car Mechanics Simulator 2015 and 2014 and Bully Scholarship Edition. But uh, on that note, I do have some in my wish list because I do want to add to my Steam library. What happens if I click that? That's the one I want. Wish list. I've got four games. The first one's called Beam NG Dot Drive. It is pretty much a driving based game. Um, and a lot of people. Bloody hell, that was released in 2015, so it's been out a few years. So now there's a lot of mods, you know, there's a lot of custom maps been made and people have made their own cars and other vehicles and things. But the way the vehicles damage in this, it's so realistic. It's incredible. <laughs> um, and I've wanted that for a long, long time, but my old rig just didn't have the guts to run that game. But this one has, so... That's game number one. There's another one which came out August this year which is called Two Point Hospital. And I don't know how many of my viewers will remember Theme Hospital from the 1990s. I think it came out around about 1997, 1998-ish. But Two Point Hospital is literally a modern version of that. So, I want that one. That's actually the most expensive one in my wish list. That's $24.99, that one. Beam and G Drive is $18.99. I'm sure that's gone up. And the next one that I want is Brick Rigs, which is basically a digital Lego building game. You know, you can create your own vehicles and models and buildings and things in it and blow them up, bash them up, etc. I just thought that would be a fun game to try, so that's only ten ninety nine. dollars that's um, that is actually the cheapest. The fourth one is called House Flipper where the idea is you're a, you are, you play as a house flipper, you know, you buy a property you renovate it, you sell it on for a profit and so on, then you go and buy another one. Um, and eventually you make enough money to buy your own property to do up for your character to live in. I just thought that seemed pretty cool, you know, because you can completely renovate everything in the house you put in, or you can install um, things like different lighting, paint the walls, put wallpaper up, demolish walls, add walls, plaster the walls, tile the walls, basically, you name it, you can do it. And I just thought, again, as I like doing things like that, that would be an interesting game to get. And the other one, again, because I like taking things apart, um, I can't remember the full name, but it's Disassembly something, I haven't got that in my wish list yet, um, where you can just take apart everyday things. It could be Something as mundane, mundane rather, as a computer monitor to something as high tech as a an aeroplane. I've seen some, or at least one gamer I have that I watch plays it, and it looks pretty good and pretty accurate as well. So, uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to buy these, but. Uh, not unless my brother wants to buy me another game for my, for Christmas. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> uh, speaking of Christmas, I've already got my brother's Christmas present planned. I know exactly what I want to get. For a change. Usually I don't. Usually I struggle with things like that. And I feel bad every year. So I just get everyone like a mundane, crappy little present. Because I don't know. My brain just doesn't function when it's choosing presents and whatnot and that's why I hate choosing birthday cards and Christmas cards especially cards because at the end of the day they just go in the bloody bin when you're done you know that's like well sometimes that can be like three four five six pounds for a card sometimes I've seen them for even more than that and they just end up in the bin so I'll just 
I don't see the point. Oh dear. Oh. I've got a lamp up there to give back to someone tomorrow. Star Wars lamp. The switch went a bit dodgy on it, so I've put a new switch on the lead. Uh, I've got some soldering tasks to do. There's a circuit for a road lamp on the floor that I want to have a go at fixing up. And uh, I've got... Still got Cat's Custom Trike CB radio to put a power lead on. Because it's got a plug connector on it at the minute, but we don't have the plugs for it. So I said, well, the easiest option would be to take that plug off and just put a lead directly onto the thing. I don't actually know if I've got a lead for that, <laughs> come to think of it. Um, I could do with a bit of um, electric flex. Now I'll have to sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice one of my um, power cables. I've got enough of them. Probably one of my figure eight cables that'll do. Uh, so I've got those to do. So I'm going to give my new soldering iron a whirl. Once I've tinned the tip. Now I never knew this, but you can get this stuff, tip tinner, which my stepdad gave me to use. And uh, supposed to make your um, soldering iron tips last longer. I need to start on the floor now. <laughs> so uh, I'll do that and uh, I'll get some of these soldering jobs done. Crap. I think I need a new solder pump. I think I threw my other one. But it broke. No, it is here. Is it working? Oh, it's working. Oh well. I thought I'd actually broke that and put it in the bin, but no, it's there, working, so... Okay, so I don't need a desoldering pump. Could do with some desoldering wick, though, because it can make... It makes life easier cleaning up the little pads that you put the solder on. <sighs> oh, been all activity out front lately for the past couple of weeks. There's a property directly opposite mine that was a DIY place. They did building contract work as well for building repairs and whatnot but they had the shop there where they sold you know DIY stuff but they that closed down and the fact that everything was just left there leads me to believe that they may have gone bankrupt and you know the banks took everything basically. Um, but that was sold. Planning consent was given for seven houses and two flats. So that lovely old building, which I think is a bit sad to lose it, but what can you do? It's going to get demolished and the houses put up. Plus, I've got the council, or the old council office, just out the front here as well, <coughs> which uh, our town council had to vacate because uh, North Norfolk District Council that owns it. Uh, we're looking to sell it to Weatherspoons because they were interested in it, but that's been sort of at least four years in the planning at the minute. And um, I'm not even sure Weatherspoons have actually, you know, signed all the paperwork to buy the property. Uh, I don't know, they're just, they're taking their sweet time over it. But uh, there's a lot of activity over there the last couple of weeks as well, so... Maybe that's going to um, progress forward, I hope. Not that we actually need anywhere else to drink and eat in this town, but I suppose it's better than an empty building. And uh, Weatherspoons seem to be quite popular as well. Oh. Uh. I heard that, you little shit bugger. You just knocked something over on my Lego C. Again. Actually, Mum asked me if I would get another kitten. After he's gone. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm actually leaning towards getting a puppy. Just a little Jack Russell or something. You know, a small dog. Because um, I'd like a little buddy that I could 
take with me wherever I go, you know. Put a lead on him and walk him down to mum's maybe. Or her if I get a girl. But at the same time having another cat, which would be an indoor cat, would be a lot easier to look after as well. Because if I had a dog, I would have to regularly go downstairs to let him out front. Or let her out front, you know, to go to the toilet and whatnot. Uh, and I suppose, as there's no garden, I would actually have to take the dog over the park or something regularly. Or if I took my dog down to Mum's, I could play in the garden with Mum's dogs. And um, like I said to Mum, it'd be an, ex an excuse for me to get out of the flat a bit more. You know, go for a walk somewhere with a little buddy in tow, you know. Plus, I've always liked dogs and always wanted a puppy, so I'm not sure. I'm I'm leaning towards getting a puppy. Not right away after Nemo passes, because, you know, I'm probably too miserable. But in time, I don't know. I suppose it's too early to be thinking about things like that, really, isn't it? <sighs> Tell you what, funny story, I got booted off of a Facebook group. <laughs> I still find it quite ironic because the group is meant to be a very adult based group where you can post all sorts of jokes regardless of how offensive it might be or rude. And I got booted for saying the F word. I don't get that, you know, it's meant to be a group for adults for posting all these um, sort of uh, risque jokes and things. And I got booted for saying the F word. Not that it bothered me because I was actually going to leave the group anyway because to me it was shit. So, uh, yeah, I was going to leave anyway so I'm not bothered. I just thought that was ironic that I got booted for that reason. <laughs> <sighs> Speaking of Facebook, I, I actually ha saw a member leave because basically I caught him out claiming that a picture he posted was his. Now I don't know why, but when I saw his post, it was on the My Little Party group that I admin, I thought, I'm a bit suspicious of it. Don't know why, I just got a little bit suspicious of it. So I did a reverse image search and actually found out that it was official show art from the actual TV show itself. What they call a vector and not his at all. And he didn't like it and left the group. <laughs> well, I think it was a he. Could have been a she. Come to think of it. I don't know. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, I can't remember that as one more Facebook thing. But speaking of um, boys and girls and he's and she's, I'm actually happy to say about Sainsbury's, it appears they've um, employed a transgender person. Because I got served by one at the cigarette kiosk. No, I've not taken up smoke and I just go and get them from mum sometimes. Seriously? <laughs> God, I'll miss you when you go, you little booger. I might get another cat. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Never be able to replace him, though. He is certainly unique, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tickle my nose because I'll blow on your face. Uh. Oh, that reminds me. YouTube. I did see a comment from, I can't remember his name, but someone left a comment on a video from a couple of months ago, I think. 
I can't even remember the video now because this was a couple of days ago. Um, <clears throat> but I'm pretty certain he deleted his comment because I can't. Well, I went back that day to try and find the comment and it wasn't on the video. Um, so I don't know why he deleted it. I mean, I suppose when I first read it, I did feel a bit annoyed by it, but. <clears throat> I had wanted to write out a reply, but of course the comment vanished. Um, but I can rem I can remember what it said, and he said that I sh really should clean up my room, and I presume by room he meant the flat, and um, <clears throat> I should eat less junk food. And then it was something like, "You'll think I'm an ass." asshole now but he'll thank me for it later or something like that but you see I'm pretty certain it wasn't meant as a rude comment so I don't understand why it disappeared I'm sure it was deleted because I couldn't find it but uh, my reply would have been in regards to the eating less junk food yes I do need to do that Um, even though my diet has improved because I have my main meals down at mum's now but uh, breakfast wise still room for a lot of improvement um, as for tidying the flat well yeah I agree but I do tidy the flat but as fast as I tidy this place up I come along and I mess it up again <laughs> Because I've got this annoying habit where I'll start on one project or something, I'm you know, moving something around, like all my cuddly toys there from the lounge, chuck them in here like I have, I've thrown them up there, and that's as far as I've got with um, finding them a new place to live. <laughs> They've been there for about a week. But then I'll move on to something else, like I have my Lego, like I said earlier, I've been playing around with a lot of Lego this week so I've now got boxes of Lego dotted everywhere that I've had out because I've been building <clears throat> instead of putting them back when I'm done I just push them to one side and think yeah I'll do it later problem is by the time later arrives I've got junk and piles of boxes and things just dotted everywhere <laughs> and it's just a case you know it's a case of lather rinse repeat you know I don't know how to break that habit it's a habit basically and I don't know how to break it <clears throat> but uh, in my mind as well because I'm the only one who lives here and it's extremely rare for me to have guests up in this flat I guess in a way I just don't see the point to keep it as tidy on a regular basis like most people would, you know. In my mind, it's my home, my shit, <laughs> sort of thing. You know. Um, probably not the best way to look at it. But that is the way I look at it, you know. It's my home, my mess. I've got to live with it. <clears throat> you know. I do appreciate that there's people out there, you know, that want to look out for you when they see you flatten a tip or whatever or you're eating the wrong stuff I think it's great that people do that like I said I don't know why the comment was removed could have left it up there bud it it didn't bother me <clears throat> the only way I would probably delete comments and block people is if they were directly insulting me know if they'll call me a fat insert swear word of your choice <laughs> or something then yeah I would but something as like an opinion like that I wouldn't <clears throat> right I think on that note I can't think of anything else uh, no doubt I will as soon as I turn the camera off. <laughs> Excuse me.
excuse me. I'm actually hungry, but until tomorrow morning when that lamp's picked up, I'm not going to be able to eat anything. <laughs> I haven't got nothing. Well, that's not true. I do have chips in the freezer. But I do not want to cook. <laughs> that's the other thing with why I eat crap, because I just can't be asked to cook. So, that's the reason why I eat all the pastries that I do and whatnot. And sandwiches trust me bread has a lot of carbs in it it's not good for diabetics carbs not good for diabetics because it's a type of sugar stuff me that was a quick reply <laughs> I'm not used to that <laughs> just shared a nice picture with my friend over in France and he boof, straight away with a reply I'm not used to him doing that because uh, he's usually doing other things and whatnot so Right, on that note, I'm going to disappear. I've forgotten anything tough. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I will uh, talk to you all again soon. Bye.